How's it going? Today is the 11th of April, 2024. It's Thursday. And I want to do one thing here at least, maybe a couple things. Um, I realize this bull triangle hedge that I'm trying to put in here is it's only going to kick in at expiration, basically. So I sold it for a $4.05 credit, which is uh, $20.25 in real money. So I think I'm just going to close it. I'm up $11.25. That would at least give me break even on the fees and everything. <laughs> so um, let's see here. If I go to curve. All right, so here's the curve. And this is where we're at here. Um, at expiration, I can make $20.25. If somehow it moves way up here, I can make $270. Problem is, you know, this expiration says 5250 basically. To get up here to 5700 is quite the up move. Um, we've sold off about 3% recently, but what is that? 250 to 700. That's like 450 points. So 5250 divided by 400. Wait, that didn't work out. <laughs> 50, that's not what I want. 400 divided by 5200. It's a 7.7% rally that we would need to have in the next 99 days. So maybe it could happen. I mean, especially since we just sold off 3%. Um, I don't know. Right now it looks like we're in a short-term downtrend though. So I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. But this kind of goes against my whole experiment. I'm trying to test out these 112s in the put side, on the put side. So I think I'm just going to close it and kind of simplify things and be done with it. Um, like I said here, if I close all these out in theory, um, where does go? Oh, now it dropped down to $9.87. So basically it'll be a wash. You know, I might lose a dollar, gain a dollar or something like that. But, um, yeah, I'm just going to close this out. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and I'll get back to you. All right. So I got that one, one, two bull trap, bull triangle closed out. And it's down here at 26, 27, 28. By the time, it was only open six days because I changed my mind. So by the time I figured that out, grand total, I lost a dollar and 17 cents after fees. So whatever, I'm fine with that. I don't, I don't want to sit on that trade forever. Um, <laughs> For 100 days to potentially make $20. So even the upside potential, I don't know, just like I said, it's deviating from kind of the strategy I want to do on this. So anyways, so the next thing I want to look at here is I don't know when no one has ever said, or I've never seen it said, when you want to close out the protective put spread, right? So this one's up almost 50%. It was up 50% earlier today. So if I would close this, you know, I'd get a profit of 18 bucks. And then I was thinking, well, the original one cost, so this is at 12, the original one costs like $8, uh, 825 maybe. So then it's like, if I close this one for $18 profit, and then I roll it down, you know, then I'd open another one to protect it. I could open it here at 860. You know, that would be about what I paid for the first one. So then I'd pocket the difference, right? So let's say the first one cost 40 bucks to open, but I made $20 on it, right? And then this one, cost 43 to reopen so I'd be up 20 bucks right 
Um, I think that works out. <laughs> so I think I'm going to do that. Uh, it seems to make sense. I guess I will find out here in a minute. So I'm going to go ahead and close this out and then reopen the next one. So let me close this here. All right, so I got those filled and by the time everything got filled, a little bit of slippage maybe, I don't know. Uh, anyways, these two here, we're looking at lines 24, 25. This was the uh, protective long put spread. I got $17 profit, but after fees, I only got $12.16 profit. So, I don't know. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't know if that's what you're supposed to do or not. I mean, I locked in that $12. And, yeah, it's... I don't see why not. Um, I mean, you lose some in the fees, I guess. But now I'll come here. And let's see the positions. So this is 112-5. And... It's on the 99 day expiration. So I'll come in here, 99 days, why is that on 70? 99 days and yeah, I'll buy another put spread. You know, I could go cheaper or I could go one more up here 42.50. I think the first time it was 41.50. So this would be 42.50. Um, so that would knock my $12 down to $11. Or I could be a little more conservative here, I guess, and keep another couple bucks at 7.45. Um, I don't know. I guess I haven't even looked through this yet. So if I come here. This is what it would be. So I'd have 150 to the upside, 400 at the trap. If I want slightly closer, what did I say, 150? So then that drops it to 143 to the upside and 393. So I don't, I don't know. <laughs> uh, Let's see, 25, 22 Delta. I mean, that's that's where you normally open it. Well, that went up to 43 now. Maybe I'll just come down here and max loss 36, max profit 213. And yeah, then that bumps out to 150 there and 401 there. Yeah, whatever, sure man, 725. It actually increases my overall buying power by $21. All right, so I got that filled down here at line 32 at the bottom. And I just combined it together this time to keep it simple. So I did the long put spread and had to buy it for $7.50, which is real money of $37.50. And yeah so now when i combine all the 112-5s the total possible is 167 and i think that's 17 dollars higher than i used to have actually it's a little bit more i think that before it was like 145 so by locking in this is all pre-fee so by locking in that 17 dollars and then also I took a slightly less aggressive uh, long put spread on the second one. I went from like 145 maximum to 167. So yeah, I think that makes sense. I think it's up $17. So <laughs> um, I guess I could try it this way. Let's see what after fees looks like. Yeah, 153, and I think before fees is like 140-ish or something. So that basically makes sense. You know, 12, I made 12 bucks on the other, took a slightly better position on this one. Yeah. 
yeah, I think it makes sense. I think I, I technically locked in 12 bucks <laughs> after fees. But yeah, I don't know. I guess I don't know what to do or when to take profits on these. I mean, that one had a profit of, uh, well, it's separate. Um, it had a profit of about, uh, what was it, 45%? 40, 45% of the max profit. So for the original one, I bought it for $41.25 in real money, I think. And I sold it for about 60 or just like 58 or something, right? So then after fees, that difference was $12 in my favor. And so now I open this one up cheaper. This one only cost $37 in real money. I guess after fees, it's $41.88. I don't know. To me, that makes sense for now. Um, if you know of a better strategy, I'm all ears because ever since I've started doing this in 2024, the market has just gone up. I mean, this is the first meaningful correction of the year, basically. Um, I guess it went down, let's see real quick on my other screen. Yeah, since January 5th, this is the biggest pullback. Now we've top to bottom, it's 3% and we're like 2.5% or something right now. So anyways, I, I haven't had I haven't had a chance to take profit or even consider taking profit on these trades. So on the uh, long put spread protection, I guess you live and learn. I don't know if I took it too early or not, but I have another one back on here. And if we come here to the curve, it looks almost identical from before, except now my max profit is 150 to the upside. I'm shooting for half of that, which is 75. Prior to this, my max profit was like 135, 140, something like that. So that $12 difference has been bumped up in my favor. And yeah, I guess that's it. For now, it makes sense if, uh, yeah, like I said, if, if anybody has better advice, better strategy, I'm all ears. Otherwise, I think that is it for now. All right, I got a little interrupted there, so I'm not sure where I left off as usual. Um, I guess I'm done for now. I'm toying with the idea of opening a strangle in MES, but I don't know. That's kind of goes back to the strategies that burned me in the past. So the only reason I'm considering it is because IV rank is at 41, so that's pretty high, but I don't know. I guess for now, I'm in no rush to open up anything. I do have some buying power available, so I guess I will consider it. But at this point, I'm just going to stick with this stuff, and um, yeah, that's it. All right, thanks for tuning in. If you've got any ideas, I'd love to hear it. Um, otherwise, I'll see you later. Thanks.